What is going on YouTube boys and girls back with another video and today we're going to be talking about something not so good. We're going to be playing a clip of this absolute demon of a person who after killing two people in the hospital just laughs about it and is more concerned about going back to class than she is about the fact that she's been told that she's killed two people. I'm not going to waste too much time going into it. We're just going to watch the relevant pieces and I'm going to give my opinion on this. Um, let's go ahead and get started. You know what the legal limit is to drive in Illinois? I do not, sir. Okay, 0 0.08, okay? Mm -hmm. What I have you do is take a deep breath, a long, hard, steady blow into the straw, just like you're blowing up a balloon. Keep blowing until you hear the machine click, okay? All right. Blowing up a what? Yes, ma'am. Look at this absolutely demon of a person laughing about having to take a breathalyzer test. Now, she does not yet know that she has killed two people. And she's drunk, so maybe it just hasn't clicked in her head yet. Again, this is still no excuse, but she's actually laughing about the fact that she hit two people. Like, what kind of sick of... Well, she doesn't know yet. According to her, later on in the video, she does say that she only hit one person. Either way, she's laughing about it, because you hit one person, whether they're dead or not, you still cause some damage. Take a deep breath, long, hard, steady blow. A little bit harder for me, a little bit harder. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. You're a Bradley student. I graduate in four weeks. You're a point two six four. Point two six four Bradley student, and she thinks she's gonna graduate in four weeks. And this is a common pattern throughout the video. I'm gonna play another portion of the video where, again, she is more concerned about going back to class and getting her car than the fact that she's been told that she just killed two people. Turn around for me and place your hands behind your back. You are under arrest for DUI. Okay. Okay, so you understand what we're gonna do? First off, I'm gonna let you know the two people. You did hit two people total. I did. Not. You did. I didn't. Okay, I'm Thank just. You. Okay. Mm -hmm. However you want to word it to yourself, that's fine. Okay, I'm just telling you, there's two people struck by your vehicle, and both both are dead. Well, I'm just telling you, the two people that hit Why your car, ma'am. Listen, listen. If I two people struck your vehicles, I'm telling you, and they're both deceased on scene. I'm just telling you that information. She's actually arguing with the cop about the fact that she just killed two people. She say, no, I only hit one. And even if it was one, what difference does it make? You killed a person. To me, honestly, this is actually a, a, this is not about her being drunk. She's an arrogant person, let's just say the least. She's not a person that um, is stable. And I don't mean like she has depression or she's like, you know, she has any kind of uh, disease or condition that makes her act out crazy. This is a person that is so self-absorbed. She's such an arrogant person that she doesn't care. She doesn't care. She's probably like that in regular life, paired with the alcohol. What, what's the, how's the saying go? Alcohol really brings out the true person in you. This is how she really is. This is how she really wishes to be. She just killed two people. She's just being told and she's arguing with the cop that she only hit one person. As if hitting one person is okay. I'm gonna spend at least $500. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with <laughs> two Long Island. See what I mean? She's been told that she's killed two people and she has no regard for the fact that she just actually killed two people. Her mind isn't even there. Her mind isn't even in that scene. She doesn't care about the fact that she just killed two people. Like I cannot reiterate that enough. Her mind is in Vegas and how she's going to spend at least $500 in Vegas. And she's talking about drinking while she's just been arrested for a DWI and just killed two people. I had enough of drinking already. We're talking about Vegas. Oh. There's no women at Vegas, right? Have you been there? Right. <laughs> I'm going to be mad. <sighs> I'm not going to answer anyone's Snapchat. Yeah, she definitely has a long day tomorrow, but not for what, well, the next day, but not for what she thinks she has a long day for. But let's just keep watching and, and then listen to how she literally keeps disregarding this. Ooh, ETA has the beams. <laughs> Oh, hey, you never answered me about my car. I have school tomorrow, so how do I get my car? Well, your car is told. Okay, so how do I get it to your school? You don't. I don't go to school tomorrow, is what you're telling me? You want me to be honest with you? You're going to jail, you don't have a bond, you killed two people tonight. I don't think you understand that. You do not have a bond, you are not getting out of jail. Your car is property of East Peoria Police Department because it's a crime scene. It killed two people tonight. You are clueless with that, clearly. I've already explained this to you. You're going to jail for reckless homicide tonight. You're going to jail for aggravated DUI for killing two people. That's what's going on. 
So no, you're not going to school tomorrow. You're not getting your car out of impound. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. She's just been told she's got no bail. She's not going to class tomorrow. She has no car. And she's asking about if she can get her car for Tuesday night's class. Total disregard of this person. This is why I said this person's an actual demon. This is a demon. This can't be a regular person. There's very few people on the earth who actually have this little regard for life, for, li for the life of others and themselves, obviously. Because she was lucky she wasn't hurt, but she killed two people. And again, this person is so self-absorbed, so narcissistic, so into herself, and the alcohol brings out her true, her true personality. This is who she really is. This person has no regard for other people. This, pe this person is self-centered. She's a demon. She's worried about whether she's going to go to school, whether she's going to graduate on time. In this video, because I'm not going to play any more of the video, I mean, this this is enough. In this video, she asks him, like, should I tell my professors, like, about me not going to class? Because, you know, I'm graduating in four weeks. Like, she continues to do this. She actually believes that after just killing two people that she actually is going back to school. She's worried about getting her car. She's worried about doing things that don't matter in the moment. This person deserves to be under the jail. This person does not deserve to live in a free society. I understand people make mistakes. She just killed two people. She should serve her time and come out and never be allowed to drive ever again. The problem with that is that a lot of the times people that get DUIs, they don't care. They come out and they won't, they'll have a license suspended. They'll have whatever, and they'll drive anyways. I've seen plenty of cases where people just continue to just drive and then continue to drive drunk. But they just drive without licenses. They drive without registrations. They just do it because in the U.S. it's pretty much a necessity to have a car unless you live in a big city. But that is the price that you pay for breaking your contract with society. This person is a demon. She has no regard for life. She should be under the jail for a very, very, very long time. I'm actually going to keep up with this case. Um, maybe I'll make a future video to see what actually happens to this person. I, I'm actually curious as to see how long she's going to be sentenced for. But anyways, that's all I got for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share this video, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time I post a video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.